what is going on youtube welcome back to another video in this video i want to go over hbar i want to show you guys that hbar is one of the leading projects in the future i'm just going to show you why i think it can do great things and just some good stuff i'm seeing about hbar let's get into it okay so when i look at hbar what i'm seeing is that hbar has been working hard this right here is 2019 okay so this is one year before the having happened so 2018 would have been the um would have been a um descending or or a falling year for btc 2019 would have been like a, a lateral transition 2020 would have been the having all right, so 2020 would have been the halving. That's when things start to move up. As you can see, it made a 201% in 2020, a 813% in 2021. Now we made a negative 84% in 2022, okay? I do expect next year, okay, 2023, I do expect it to have a rough year. This coin, and every coin in the market. Let me show you the altcoin um, season index that I follow, okay? When we fall under this line and we're moving down here, this is gonna be a lot of pain for BTC, a lot of pain for all the coins in the market. It's not gonna be just HBAR. So you have a couple of options you can do with HBAR, okay? HBAR, is, it has been around for a long time. It's gonna be here. They're working hard. All right, let me show you with HBAR. We're going to go to their website. Beautiful website, by the way. Here's HBAR's website, hbar.com. Um, now they have a few things saying carbon carbon negative, 10 times faster, smart contracts 2.0. And uh, so, and then it says always predictable gas fees, which is very nice. So let's go back down here where I want to show you right now. So HBAR has a TPS, a transactions per second of 10,000 um, per second. That's actually really good. As you can see here, Ethereum has around a 12 and BTC has around a three. And we know that these two are the most expensive uh, networks to run on. I don't even like sending things on that. I will avoid it with all cost. Okay, literally. <laughs> so now the funny thing is just to throw some some thumbs up to uh, adam out there cosmos cosmos also puts out around a ten thousand tps okay so these are high quality coins they've been around for a very long time and i do believe they're going to be here in the next um bull market also okay so no doubt about that in my head so let's jump over to back to the chart so what I'm looking at right here is that with H bar, we have hit some support at four cents. Our next support underneath that is two cents, okay? If we fall to two cents, there's nothing underneath that for a very long time. We might be able to catch some support over here at, um, I'm sorry, uh, so we can might be able to catch some support right here. This is 2.8 cents. Underneath 2.8 cents, we have a little support at 1.9 cents. Underneath that, it's gonna be at one cent, okay? So we are hoping that we do not fall underneath this. So from here to here, from where we have right here to here, this is a 25% fall, okay? So this can definitely happen. A 25% fall can happen, especially from where we're at now until around March of 2023. We don't know yet when we're going to have that fall, but we may have a fall somewhere around here. If we don't have the fall, if we don't end up falling, okay, then what we could be looking at is a nice push up to a relief rally or come down here and push up. So somewhere in between these two lines is where I expect that we're going to be pushed up into the next relief rally. That's going to, so the way H bar works on my chart, H bar likes to hover around this 0.2361 Fibonacci. So as we come up here, we're going to curve and basically stay somewhere over here at around nine cents. Okay. So I would be looking for a good relief rally of either 234%, 270%, 
to around nine to 11 cents, or we're going to make a relief rally to around 167%. Okay. So, but this is not going to happen anytime soon until around either the end of 2023 or mid 2023. Um, if things start to go in a great, um, direction, direction for BTC. So if we look over, if we go to the total market, um, cap of BTC, you know, we're still hovering around the 0.618 Fibonacci. So I'm just letting you guys know that, you know, we still can go a little bit further. I just circled the same thing twice, <laughs> but we can go a little bit further. We still have some pain in the market, but at the end of the day, H bar is working hard at what they're doing. I think H bar, let me find H bar again. Once we do turn around, once the market turns back, so I'm going to give you a, a um, an estimate from where we're at, from, from the lower H bar of four cents, we're looking at a 1,555%. Let me say that again. Okay. We're looking at 1,555% return on a crypto coin that is solid, that makes great TPS transactions per second that people enjoy. The worst part about H bar, the worst part is probably trying to send it someplace. That's probably the worst part. Other than that, it's great. All right. So I'm just showing you guys that there are stuff out here. There are great projects out here on the market. Um, you don't need to get into these shit coins all the time. Those coins, I believe in 2024 having, I believe the shit coin era is done with people putting all this money into these coins that mean nothing. Stick to the top coins, stick to the ones that have been doing it. Make your 800, make your thousand percent return and walk away with a smile. Let's sell when we need to and we'll pocket the rest of the money. Not playing with these shit coins for 2024. Okay, you guys. Hit that like and subscribe. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. If you want to hear about any other coins, let me know in the comment section so I know what else that you guys want me to go over it. I see you, I'll see you guys in the future.